Welcome to video number nine and congratulations you've reached the end of this course. We're going to talk about how to backup and restore your websites. Have you ever created a document and forgot to save it and you lose it? Think about that feeling. This is one of the worst feelings after you spent sometimes hours, sometimes days, sometimes weeks, or even months to create that document. Well, the same goes for your website. In fact, websites are even worse because sometimes you spend months, years, or even half a decade or more maintaining your website and building it up. So if you don't have a backup of your website on a frequent basis, then you are in trouble. Now you could say, well, I'm just going to use the web host to back up my files. And that's fine, you can do it that route, but it's always good to keep a backup copy on your own computer. Because there are many different scenarios, as I specified in the previous videos, that could potentially happen. And I'm not saying this will happen to you, but I'm saying that it potentially could happen. Whereas you could have a web hosting company go bankrupt, which has actually happened to us in the past. And they go down and something happens or something happens without your control or the web hosting company says you're using too much bandwidth and we're locking your website or locking it down until you pay more money or something or something happens in that realm as long as you keep a backup on a consistent basis on your own computer then you are safe now, another scenario of why you would want to do this is if you wanted to back it up and then move it to a different host, you could do this as well. So let's jump right in and let me show you how it all works. So there are two different options to backup. There's a backup and there's a backup wizard. And let me explain the differences between the two. So let's just go ahead and open these two windows up. So the first thing is backup. And this is what you see here. And what this allows you to do is it allows you to download a backup onto your computer. So rather than backing it up and storing it on your server, which yes, you could download it from there, you're downloading it straight from the server to your computer. So what you would do is simply click on download a full website backup. I'm not gonna do it now because this website is big, but if you click that, it'll automatically download right away. You also have the opportunity to download just the home directory. So what this enables you to do is split things up. So let's say instead of downloading the whole thing, you, you're just telling the system, oh, I just want to download what's inside the home directory. I don't want to download the emails or the everything else, the MySQL databases and all that. Now you can also download the MySQL databases separately. Let's say that you already have everything. You just want the database. Well, that gives you the option to do that. So we could go here and click here and it'll automatically download just the MySQL database or just the email forwarders. So that's what backup is all about. Downloading it straight from the server to your computer via a zip file. Now, Backup Wizard, on the other hand, allows you to, you can either do a partial backup right here, but if you do a full backup, you can specify the backup destination, which this will basically back it up and store it on your server in a specified destination. And of course, you can enter your email address if you want it to notify you when it is complete. Now, I like to do this because it stores it on the server but when it's done, it gives you the option to actually download it to your computer as well. So you could have the option to have it on your computer and to have it on the server just in case anything were to happen. Now, in a different scenario where you would have maybe move to a different host, 
You can easily ask the other host to log in to your cPanel and transfer your site to their server. You could either do that or you could do it yourself. I like to keep backups myself at all times. And even though they offer those services at your convenience, you never know what will happen with the web hosting company. And you never know what situation you might be in. So always keep a backup. Try to do backups at least once a week or once a month at minimum. Now, if you do the backup wizard, you've backed everything up and it is sitting in your home directory and you want to restore it, you can either ask your web hosting company to do it for you or you can do it yourself and do it really quick. You can cl simply click on restore and you can select the type that you want. So we'll do home directory. And the final step is to either choose the restore your backup, upload the file here and restore it from here. Or if it is sitting on your server, you can also ask your web hosting company and say, hey, I've got a backup sitting in the home directory. And if you would please restore it and they can do that for you. That's typically better because a lot of times web hosting companies, they'll back it up once a week or whatever. But if you have your own backup, maybe you, you did it right before you made a big change, then you can do it based on your own change. So before you do that major change, you've backed it up and you can do it from there. Otherwise, you'll have to rely on whatever the web hosting company has backed up for you.